Hello, my beautiful Capricorns. My name is Jennifer from jenniferwalkerson.com, here to bring you your weekly forecast for November 17th to the 23rd. Guys, check your moon, your rising, and Venus sign for more information if you'd like to cross watch, as well as if you'd like a personal reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerson.com, or check out the description box below. Remember, it's going to be for singles, couples, or anyone in between, or anyone who needs love messages. Let's jump right in, Capricorn. So, it's going to come my Capricorn's romantic love life from November 17th to the 23rd. Okay, let me see here. Feels good. Okay. All right, so what is going on with my Capricorn's romantic love life for November 17th to the 23rd? And one more time. Okay, that feels good. And what's going on with my Capricorn's love interest romantic love life for November 17th to the 23rd? What's going on with my Capricorn's love interest romantic love life for November 17th to the 23rd? And one more time. Okay, that feels good. Let me lay these cards down and we will jump right in. Whoa. Okay. Looks like there's a lot going on this week. Up and down. So far. Yeah, it's very up and down. Okay. Um, On the 17th, well, you could be dealing with something surrounding children that could be affecting your romantic love life. Possibly maybe someone's being childish or something to do with children maybe on the table about something to do with romantic love life and somehow they're affecting your romantic love life okay and that is on the 17th and it does look like you're going to have some kind of judgment you could have some type of reconciliation with an ex here or there could be something surrounding you just having a healing in this situation with the judgment card your love interest of the person you're dealing with has the Page of Swords energy. Now they could be gaining some kind of new perspective here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, or it could be some kind of childish energy here with the Page of Swords energy. All right, on the 18th, Spirit is suggesting to keep yourself balanced. You have the yin and yang card because it does look like your energy is that of the moon, which is confusion, uh, feeling like something is hidden or deceptive here. Okay, there could be something surrounding dreaming here with the with the uh, Pisces uh, energy going on. Also, your love interest of the person that you're dealing with on the 18th has some kind of heartache, Three of Swords energy, or there could be something to do with more than one choice here, Three of Swords. On the 19th, Spirit wants you to be careful about your health, keep yourself balanced, watch what you eat on this day. Okay, on the 19th, it does look like you're dealing with some type of heartache, excuse me, some kind of hurt or pain here or feeling like you're backstabbed here with the Ten of Swords energy. But remember with the Ten energy, you're getting over whatever this is. Whatever hurt and pain, you're getting over it. Um, so it's ending to start something new. Your love interest of the person that you're dealing with is coming at you very quickly or fast, some kind of fast moving energy or something surrounding communication messages with the Eight of Wands energy. And remember with the Tens, it's ending something and start something new with the Eight energy. It's about putting the effort and work into something. On the 20th, Spirit wants you to watch out for any kind of symbolism, any kind of messages that may come through, whatever may resonate with you. Be careful of this. Watch out. Pay attention. Okay? Because it looks like, and that's why I said be careful, because I said 10 of Wands energy. There is some kind of burden or responsibility that you're dealing with on this day. So the messages are probably around some, some way of helping you with this burden and this responsibility that you're feeling on this day with the 10 of Wands energy on the 20th. Okay, your love interest of the person that you're dealing with see that there is some kind of potential opportunity for some kind of long-term commitment, Ace of Pentacles energy, where someone sees them in that way, Ace of Pentacles energy. On the 21st, Spirit wants you to have a good time, to be happy, to feel like you're in paradise here with the paradise card. Maybe even go out, maybe take a vacation here with this paradise card. On the, the 21st, your energy is the Knight of Cups energy. So you're moving towards, uh, taking an action towards love here. Someone's taking an action towards you. We could be dealing with the Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. That's the Knight in Shining Armor card there. Your love which is the person you're dealing with on the 21st feels like something is deceptive. Maybe they're not being honest with themselves here with the Seven of Swords energy. 
Maybe they feel like something is sneaky here. On the 22nd, so celebrations or spirit is, is suggesting to you to go out and celebrate here on the 22nd because it does look like you're dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy or something to do with gaining a new perspective or maybe you feel like someone's being immature here with the Page of Swords energy. Um, your love is the person you're dealing with has the Seven of Cups energy so they're feeling confused or they're feeling like there's something... Uh, that they need to gain confidence about pertaining to their choices. They're trying to look over their choices and their options here with Seven of Cups energy. And on the 23rd, Spirit is saying to have some type of transformational energy or some kind of transformational thing is going to be taking place here with the transformational card. And I see the star card being there. So it's showing, showing something to do with having hope and something to do with your wish here and something to do with an Aquarius energy, possibly. And your love is the person you're dealing with on this day has the Eight of Cups energy. So they are mentally walking away or physically walking away. Eight of Cups. All right, so bear with me, guys, while I get your overall set up here. Remember, I use three different decks. Um, so I'm going to be using the Tarot deck for the main deck. All right. The Rider Waite Tarot for the Clarifier and the Lenormand for the Clarifier. Okay, so let's jump right in. What's going on with my Capricorns Romantic Love Life for November 17th to the 23rd? What's going on with my Capricorns Romantic Love Life for November 17th to the 23rd? Okay, that feels good. Okay. What is going on with my Capricorn's Romantic Love Life for November 17th to the 23rd? Capricorn's Romantic Love Life for November 17th to the 23rd. Okay, that's good. What's going on with my Capricorn's Romantic Love Life for November 17th to the 23rd? Okay, that feels good. Great. All right, currently, Page of Pentacles. So I see this person with a book in their hands, okay? I see this book person with a book in their hands, so they're trying to gain some kind of knowledge, you or the other person you're dealing with, about whether or not you should send a message of something to do with a long-term commitment here, page of pentacles. Remember, pages of pentacles or pentacles in general are about serious things like um, you know, marriage, commitment, children, family, stuff like that, okay, tangible things, money. So there's a message coming in about some kind of long-term commitment. Either you're gonna send a message or someone else is, okay? And they are trying to gain knowledge. They're trying to understand because I see the book in their hand, right? The book right there, okay? So, or obviously this is your energy, Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. And the reason is, is because someone feels left out in the cold or they feel like something, or maybe you're leaving someone on the cold or someone feels left out in the cold. So they're gonna send you some type of message or you're gonna send them some type of message because you want to be happy here with the sun card or you wanna reveal something here about why you're being left out in the cold. Or this person's gonna send you a message because they wanna find out why they're being left out in the cold. Okay, so what is the blockage here? The high priestess. Maybe that there is some kind of secret thing here with the high priestess. Something yet to be known with the high priestess. Or uh, someone has not used their intuition here. And why is that? Because of something to do with a long-term commitment, marriage, traditional values, or something to do with something spiritual. Yep, this is spiritual. So there's a spiritual connection here or something to do with spirit that is blocking things or someone is not using their intuition or their spiritual connection to kind of figure things out here and that seems to be blocking things. They're, 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 they're not using their intuition side pertaining to the romantic love life, pertaining to the situation. And that may be why you or the other person may feel left out in the cold pertaining to something to do with long-term situations here. Um, okay, so at the foundation of the matter, Six of Swords energy, you are moving into calmer waters here, Six of Swords energy. It is challenging, okay, but you're coming out of whatever things you were going through. And there is hope here with the Star card, okay? Pertaining to house and family here with the House card, okay? So what happened in the past? Five of Pentacles. You felt left out in the cold or someone felt left out in the cold here, Five of Pentacles. And why was that? Because... Whoops, uh -huh. 
that one of the, the travel, obviously. It was a traveling card, and obviously it is a traveling card. The chariot, maybe there is some travel involved with you and your, maybe there's a long distance relationship with the chariot card, okay? Um, money may be an issue here and something to do with travel pertaining to the situation with you and your romantic love interest. Or maybe not feeling victorious because of the fact that you had no movement there. And you wanted a fresh start and a new opportunity pertaining to the situation. What's going on at the head of the matter here? Six of Wands, you are um, looking for a victory here pertaining to a message of love, Page of Cups energy, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, and some type of reconciliation and renewal here with the Clover card or a little bit of luck to be on your side. What's going to go in the immediate future here? Wow, world card, something to do with travel, something to do with someone who's foreign. You're going to complete a cycle here. So you're going to go from one level of commitment to another, another level of commitment, the world card. So a good thing, a graduation, right? Some kind of graduation, a level of commitment is happening and luck is on your side. Things are moving in your favor and you're gaining some kind of knowledge here about this or something is yet to be revealed. Spirit's gonna reveal this. This is the universe because the world card is a major arcana card, okay? The, the uh, Wheel of Fortune is a major arcana card. So you have two major arcana cards here and then the book represents like the high priestess, something yet to be known or some kind of knowledge you're gaining here. Okay, so there is things that are moving in your favor, whether you know it or not. Spirit and, and your guardian angels and ancestors are on your side here. Things are going to go in your favor here. Things are going to get moved here and it's going to go in a good way, at least in the immediate future. We don't know what the... the, uh, the the future is going to be, but the immediate outcome is things are great. Okay, seven of wands shows me that you're defending your position or you wanna defend your position to move quickly on something, Knight of Swords energy, because you feel like something is blocked or you wanna cut some kind of delay or some kind of challenge out of your way because you, you want that out of there. You want this delay gone. You're ready to move. You're ready to move forward. You're ready to defend this position. What's the influence here? Five of Swords. There's a defeated energy between you or the other person, or maybe in general, you're feeling defeat here, or the other person you're dealing with feels defeat here. And they, they, they need to decide if they wanna stand up and fight or walk away, because potentially there is some kind of long-term potential on the table here with this Ace of Pentacles here. Or you're feeling defeated because it's something to do with some kind of long-term situation. And the community or the garden here, I, I, I say community, but it's the garden card. It's something to do with a group of people. Could be family, could be an office place, could be the public, something surrounding a group of people or wanting to go out, uh, but feeling uh, pertaining to the situation or this person that you're dealing with may feel defeated about the fact that because there's this potential, they, they feel that someone feels that there is a potential long-term with you, Capricorn, okay? And uh, they may wanna go out with you and they may feel defeated about the whole thing because they were like, oh, I don't know if I should stand up and fight for this for Capricorn or walk away from the situation, but there's a defeated energy here with you. Not with you, but the other person that you're dealing with or the, you know, the influence involved with this. Okay, so the hopes and fears is you're hoping for friendship, celebration, to be able to put the work in or the effort, Eight of Pentacles energy and have things following the rules. Okay, or your fear is there's gonna be some kind of third party situation pertaining to somebody putting some work or effort into this and feel isolated and separated by it. Okay, so let's see what the outcome is gonna be. And I see here, um, we have the world card, we have the luck on your side and six, seven, uh, uh, seven, eight here. And it's something to do with work and effort and subconsciously you're trying to build something, cut something away as far as delays go and you're trying to analyze how to do that, okay. So let's see what the outcome is gonna be. Wow, King of Wands energy, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy shows me that someone sees you as a wise choice when it comes to passion, uh, Capricorn. And why is that? Because they want a long-term commitment, marriage here, Four Wands. They want stability here, Four Wands energy. And they want a decision, <laughs> oh my God. Or it's something that's unexpected here. Okay, because the scythe is something is unexpected. Someone wants some kind of harvest. You know, they wanna they wanna harvest something here in this situation because they want long term commitment, and they feel that you're a wise choice when it comes to passion here, um, Capricorn. So very positive cards. 
uh, and the scythe shows that something could happen unexpectedly or someone wants a de definitive decision here pertaining to marriage long-term commitment okay so let me get some advice for you Capricorns because obviously there was some kind of knowledge about completing a cycle here with the world card um, or something yet to be known with that book card there yeah it looks like someone wants a decision they they want it quick too okay all right so can i have some advice for my capricorns romantic love life for november 17th to the 23rd can i have some advice for my capricorns romantic love life for november 17th to the 23rd please okay so capricorn make the effort because great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take that's pretty clear cut there it does look like Someone wants some type of a decision from you. They want it done quickly or they want something or there's something unexpected about something to do with marriage, long-term commitment and knowing that this is a wise choice when it comes to passion. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy there. So very good. Make the effort, Capricorn. Guys, if you like this, please like and subscribe. And of course, if you like a personal reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com or check out the description box below. Guys, have a great week. I love you guys so much.